I don't know about you, but for me, screenshots have been very helpful, especially when taking notes or needing a quick reference to something. But how do you do that on a Mac? Find out more next. All right, don't forget, if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as hit the notification bell to ensure that you actually see the videos as they end up posting. Now, let's go ahead and get right to it. So on my computer, I've got everything set up and so I'm running a MacBook uh, Pro and as I do so, there are times I need to take different screenshots. Well, even though you can actually do it manually in one way, uh, there's actually an easier way to do it, which is by using, of course, different hotkey combinations. So if I wanna take a screenshot, let's say of my entire desktop right here and right now, I can simply hit Shift, Command, and the number three. When I do so, you'll notice the lower right-hand corner of my screen, and that will give me a preview of the screenshot that I have. Then if I right-click on it, I can go to Show in Finder, and that will allow me to see, there it is. There is the screenshot that I made a capture of, so it shows up right there, and that's perfectly fine. I have all my screenshots actually in a single location uh, as well. So that's just doing a generic screenshot. Now that's always good, especially when you have someone, let's say that they're doing a particular presentation, especially if you actually have a lot of different web meetings that you're doing and you need to go ahead and capture all that data. Doing that screenshot right there may actually give you that advantage to make sure you remember what is actually being shown there. Now, sometimes though, you want to actually focus in on a particular area of a screen. We can do that as well. So let's take for an example that what I have here is something that we want to actually focus in on. Well, we can actually focus in on just either one of these here, but I have another example, which is probably a little bit better. Let's say that I have a diagram, but I really need to focus in on, let's say, just these two routers over here on the right-hand side. Well, here I can do a shift command and the number four, and when I do so, notice my cursor has actually changed uh, its particular way. It actually looks like a crosshair target and also gives me coordinates as well. So all I have to do is actually select what I want to capture in here. So what I can do is from here, I'm going to click and drag and that will give me this nice looking kind of rectangular shape that I want to actually have. So I can do that and when I do that, I have now captured that just by simply clicking and dragging and then I let go. From that point, I would now have to go in and find it since I did not actually see my particular screenshot there. But the good thing is I have everything under screenshots at this point. So that would also show up here too. Now, the I wanna point this out as we go through here. Let me get down to where the screenshots are actually being done so we can see some of the naming conventions uh, that it gives us. So this is probably one of the harder things about using the screenshots is that they don't give you the chance to name them exactly right away. But if you take a look, you'll notice that it is kind of a date and timestamp, right? Screenshot, and here's the actual date that we see, uh, et cetera, all right? And you can also, of course, see a preview of this right here. So we can actually focus in on something like that as well. All right, now, what if you actually just needed a single window? So here it is, I have two separate windows, and I'm actually using this uh, on my desktop here. What if I only wanted one of these windows as well? So this one is a particular key combination that we also want here, which is gonna be Shift, Command, and this one's gonna take a little bit of a stretching here, four, and a space bar. Notice how everything changed colors, and if you take a look, a little bit harder to see, but now the little icon and command, if you look at the top edge of the screen here, my little, my cursor has now turned into a little camera, is what it's turned into. And at this point, I can simply click, and now you can see on the lower right-hand corner of the screen once again, where I can now show, here's a preview for that, okay? So it's just as simple as easy as doing something like that, that we can actually use this to our benefit to be able to capture exactly what I actually want to do. Now I do this quite often, just about every weekend when I'm actually creating a quiz that I do publish out there, I actually am making screenshots of diagrams that I'm creating, as well as questions that I write, and that actually helps me to be able to paste them in exactly when I need to and ensures that they're not gonna be very easily copied uh, as well. All right, now, now that we have that understanding, what if I wanted to change the location of where I stored them to make it a lot easier for me than some particular destination folder that I don't know what's happened here? Well, we can always bring up the screenshot uh, app as well. We simply type in screenshot, 
And when we do so, notice the screenshot.app. And when I press return here, we can see at the bottom edge of the screen, I have different options that are actually available to me. And each one of the things that we've already talked about, this is the manual way of doing it. We can capture the entire screen. We can do that selected capture. We can actually do a selected portion of a capture, the entire screen or selected area. But if I go to options here, what I want to actually do is be able to change my location. So if I wanted to save location, it's from here, I can change it, let's say, to the idea of desktop here. So I can download to there if I choose to. So I choose that. I'll do a capture like that. There it goes. And then I show in the finder. And there it is. So we can see that little preview of the screenshot itself uh, too. So now you know how to actually, of course, create all those different screenshots that will actually help you out to do exactly what you need to do, as well as change the location of where you save those if you choose to. All right, well, that will do it for us, but make sure you also hit our subscribe button once again if you haven't yet. And if you wanna see more helpful videos like this, make sure you continue to check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me.